Jam strap to the shortstop machine. He's going to have to hustle the throw. It'll be a nice play if he makes it. And he does. Sixth. Lined in into left field for a base hit. Ayers will take a big turnaround. Second hold up there. So Landon Prentice, four for his last four. He'll welcome himself back with a single. Second you know, on, on, on the schedule, it's, it's another W, you know. But I think we all know it's a little bit more than that. And I told the players, uh, so that one's special to me. You know, you, you remember uh, your first one probably, and you remember your last one. But I'll always remember the first Key Dog Classic. And, uh, you know, to play well and to play well in front of these people. And uh, great atmosphere done by the Peninsula Pilots. I can't thank their organization enough, and I can't thank Old Dominion University enough. And, uh, so it is special, I'm not going to lie. Four shifting over to college level. As this is roped into center field by Bill Cohen, straight up the middle. Early in the ball game. First pitch swinging and shot right up the middle into center field. One run is in as Malin will score. Ball is booted by the center fielder. Cohen is in easily a two RBI single from Joey Kujis will put VCU on top two to one here in the top of the third inning. Two balls, no strikes, the pitch. Popped up into deep left field, drifting back Eldridge. He'll look up at it, and it's out of here. A two-run homer from Joey Kujis gives the Ram a 5-3 lead over Old Dominion. As he sent that into the night sky over the left field wall easily. The first homer of the season in the 31st RBIs of the season for Joey Kujis as well. A big With the home run, I just got in a good count. Got a... Got ahead in the count, just sitting on a fastball. So, just wanted to help my team win this game, and uh, it was just extra important to us to play hard for Coach today. Because, I mean, we've been playing for hard for him all year, but today was extra special for the event. Joey's been uh, he's been really heating up, and he, he's been getting better every every week, you know. And uh, you know what? You know he he scuffled a little bit early. But in scuffling for him, by the way, is 290 to 310. But you know, I mean, he's you know, I think he's like 15 of his last 20 right now. And uh, I tell you what, uh, for us to be good, he's got to be good. He's our best player. And uh, you know what? Hit or hit. You know, the, the first thing to say is the the winning team had five. And I, I was talking about that with somebody this morning. And I said, I bet the winning team's going to have five tonight. And when Kuja just hit the home run to put them up at five, I thought we might be in trouble. But uh, you know what? I, I think he'd have been proud of how the game went. Both teams played pretty good. Uh, it was a, a well-played game, hard fought by both. And, uh, you know, the, the, the big home run by Kujis was the, was the difference in it. I don't think you could, you could find a dry eye as the video was being played. And, uh, and every time they get a chance to see her and speak to her, it really, uh, it's really, it really puts it got, it adds some closure for them a little bit. But uh, anytime we get a chance to see Trish, see Paul Anthony, see Paul's brothers and his family, you know what, they're such strong people and, uh, you know, they're very inspiring and just thankful to see him tonight. Uh, just a lot of excitement. Everyone, everyone uh, wanted to come out here and play their best and make sure we got the win. And we were happy to get these new jerseys with uh, TK5 on them. So it was pretty cool. It's two strikes, the stretch of the pitch. Chopper towards second base, Weymouth Fields. He'll step, throw to first, and the Rams win the ball game. It was tight at the end with runners on the corners and one out, but the Rams are able to get out of the inning and win it 5-4 to four in the first ever Key Dog Strikeout Cancer Classic.